Are you thinking about buying a house right now? We need to talk. Hey, I'm Jen, your Delaware Realtor. With the housing market changing daily and lenders tightening up on funding, I thought it was really important to share what new buyers are up against. Now this is not for the buyers who have already started their process or the buyers that need to move. If you're in one of those situations, yes, it is still possible to purchase a home and I'm going to make a video on the hurdles that you'll have to overcome and the best way to do that. But in this video, I'm talking to the vast majority of people that don't necessarily need to purchase right now. We have all been cooped up in our houses for quite some time and maybe you've started to hate your house or maybe you've become envious of your friends or coworkers' houses that you're seeing on your Zoom calls or maybe you're just so bored that you've been searching on Zillow. We all know how I feel about Zillow. In any case, you've thought about possibly wanting to buy a new house and I'm here to say that's probably not the best idea at the moment and I probably did not make any realtor friends right there. I just want to mention that the real estate market is changing daily, so what I say today may not be the same for tomorrow. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to keep up to date on the ever-changing real estate market. Hey, did you like this video yet? Lenders have started to tighten up lending requirements. For example, many are requiring a 700 or higher credit score. Also, your debt to income ratio went from 55% to 45%, and many are requiring a larger down payment. And to top all of that off, state and federal programs like Delaware State Housing Authority have temporarily cut back on grants and assistance programs. Also, if you have temporarily been laid off due to the coronavirus, Unfortunately, you no longer qualify for funding. To make matters worse for buyers, sellers are not budging on the asking price of their home. So for the moment, home values are remaining high and coupling that with the tightening of lending, it's not the best environment for new buyers. For these reasons, I have been advising my clients who don't absolutely need to purchase right now to sit on the sidelines and wait for this to play out. Hopefully the situation with the virus will peak shortly and the economy will start to reopen and we can start to get things back to normal. Crossing our fingers that between the stimulus packages, the Fed quantitative easing, and the mortgage bailouts will mitigate this situation perfectly and we will bounce right back. But I can't in good conscience give advice banking on all of that. It will be much more prudent to expect a hiccup in the overall economy and housing market. Do you have a question about buying during the coronavirus? Comment down below. I answer all of my comments and questions. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you're a first time home buyer, check out this playlist on the home buying process. And if you're a seller, check out this video on selling during the coronavirus. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Did you like this video?